hey guys what's up it's Penny from heaven I am hanging out at home having like a lazy Saturday and I'm working on a um, like a craft do-it-yourself kind of project let me fix this so you can see me okay um, yeah so I'm working on this project let me show you what it is it's basically this is the basis of it and I have a friend who's graduating tomorrow so for her ceremony um, I wanted to make her a money lay like have you ever you've probably seen them before um, but what I'm going to do is first take off these flowers because they're fake and they itch and um, I'm going to replace these flowers with these little dollar bill flowers that I'm making and um, I think they're so cute I think they're so adorable so somehow I'm going to make I don't know how many of these I got like 50 singles and I think 50 might be too many to actually fit on here comfortably so we'll see how many I make and I have like ribbon and stuff in her school color so um, I have like all afternoon to do this and it's going to take me a while because I'm not moving so fast right now and I'm sorry it looks so rough I went out last night for drinks with friends so I'm in recovery mode and what you see is what you get um, so while I keep working on this I'm going to talk to you guys about what I've been up to like this past week or so like two weeks week week and a half um, what did I do? Oh, so I went in for my seasonal bikini wax this week. And the thing about waxing is the longer you wait to go, the more it hurts. And it already hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Like, there's no way around it. Unless you're on, like, Vicodin, it hurts um, really, really bad. So I went in this week um, because it was time, and I had put it off for way too long. And I got there thinking, like... I'll just thug it out. Usually I try to take like a couple ibuprofen or something. I was like, I'll just thug it out. No big deal. I've done this before. I was so wrong. Like it hurt so bad. And like the technician, it's funny because when you get a, when you get a wax down there, you know, um, the technician will try and like take your mind off of it. So she's talking to me. She's like, Oh, I like your purse. Where are you from? What do you do? You know? And she was so sweet and I was just not having it. I was like, I want to get this over with. I don't want to chit chat. And I felt <laughs> felt really bad. But I was just like, I want to go home. Um, so yeah, that's that, that's one thing that I did this week. And the place was cool. Like the place was really nice. It was my first time going. And they don't use um, hot wax, which is cool because I have sensitive skin anyway. So they actually use, um, well, it's hot, but it's not how do I explain it? The wax that they use is hard wax, so it's not clear and gooey like the normal wax that you'd use, you know, in general. Um, it's black. It's like dark, dark, dark blue, almost black. It looks really, really weird. It looks like silly putty. Um, and it hurt just as much, but it was really, really, really like super soft and easy on my skin. Um, so I appreciated that. And um, the place was clean, and I looked inside the pot of wax, which you should always do, even if you're just getting like your eyebrows done. Always, 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 always look inside the pot of wax and make sure that it's clean. Because I can't tell you how many times I've gone for wax and you look inside the pot of wax and there's shit floating in it. Like hairs, you know, maybe from eyebrows or whatever, but like hairs, you know, chunks of like tissue and the little pieces of the wooden spatulas that they use. Like you never know. So always look inside. If it's not clean, you can ask them, can you please make a new pot of wax? And they should always do that free of charge. And if they try and charge you or if they give you a hard time, just leave because sanitation is like the most important thing, especially when it comes to your area. So, so yeah, that's one thing I did this week. Um, I also, I didn't see Think Like a Man. I thought about it, made plans to go, didn't go. Um, I don't know if I'll see it. And the reason why is I get tired of seeing the same black actors and actresses and the same roles because that's basically the same movie over and over and over again. And... I heard it was funny. I heard the movie was hilarious. Um, and I never read the book, Think Like a Man, because I'm not, you know, real big on Steve Harvey like that. Um, but I, I heard the movie was funny and everything. I just, I don't, I feel like I'll go. And I feel like I would get there and feel like I've seen the movie before, you know? So, I don't know. I might skip it. Maybe, I don't know. I can't say yet. Um, what else? Oh, I, okay. I have a funny story to tell you that's going to, illustrate what the nightlife is like where I live which is in Los Angeles and I don't think very many people would admit it or would feel the same way as I feel but the nightlife in LA sucks and that's coming from the perspective of a young black female who is not trying to 
be in the next ludicrous video like literally LA is so crowded with people who feel like they're so important and they're trying to get on and they'll do whatever it takes and having that type of energy around you when you go out to have a good time it just it makes it hard to just relax and just be you you know um so 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 like three weeks ago two weeks ago maybe a close friend of mine and I got invited to a party and it was being thrown by someone whose friends we knew okay so we're like we'll go why not um, we get the, the flyer as a text message and the flyer says, you know, it's going to be open bar. There's going to be photographers and a red carpet and, um, it's cocktail attire and, um, there's going to be food and hors d'oeuvres and there's a cover charge and, um, the dress code's going to be strictly enforced and it's supposed to be at this really nice loft in downtown LA. And so, um, we're like, okay, you know, we'll go. It sounds, it sounds like a legitimate, you know, thing to, to at least stop by so uh we get dressed and everything and we're stressing like man you know are we are we gonna get in are my shoes okay is my dress okay um because we don't know what to expect and, and a lot of things in LA can be so pretentious like oh your shoes are open toe you can't get in or you know you wouldn't believe it so we go to this place we get to the building it's an apartment building it's not a loft it's not uh well it's a high rise but it's not it's not a loft these are not lofts like it's it's an apartment building there's nothing wrong with that but the flyer advertised something else you know so we're like okay no big deal you know um we go to the unit where they're supposed to be throwing this thing and um we just knock on the door literally and so someone comes and they open it and there's like a bouncer inside and a girl who's taking money you know and she's like oh it's going to be a $20 cover charge and we're like oh you know um rarely do we as ladies have to pay when we go places um which is the, the kind of nice thing but if we do it's usually like a really really upscale place or like a really 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 hot club that you know a lot of people have been going to and this is not that this is somebody's apartment okay so we're like screw it 20 bucks no big deal let's just check it out we pay after we finish paying, she says, can you guys step outside for a second, though, because I want you to take a picture on the red carpet for our website. And I'm like, I didn't, you know, see a red carpet outside. But okay, so we go outside the door. Literally, there's a red bathroom mat. I'm not even lying. A bathroom mat and a guy standing there with his camera. So he looks at us and we look at him and he's like, do you guys want a picture? And we're like, oh, no, 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 it's okay. You know, and we go back inside and we're just like why would they put it on so thick that they're supposed to be, you know, red carpet and cameras? And so, to make a long story short, it wasn't what the flyer said it was going to be. The food and the hors d'oeuvres that they said they were going to have was literally a Subway sandwich cut into, like, 15 pieces with toothpicks stuck in each piece. And they, they have girls walking around carrying this on a tray in someone's apartment, okay? And they have everything on the sandwich, so it smells like onions and peppers and... This type of thing has happened to us more than once, where the flyer says, you know, it's going to be this grand soiree, and we get there, and we're just like, are you kidding, you know? So I've been kind of fed up with the nightlife here in L.A., and the other thing is, like, if you go to a club or a lounge or something, like, legitimate, if you and your friends don't look like, you know, Kim Kardashian, like, they will literally make you wait in line longer, and girls will walk up and you know if their dresses are just a little bit shorter or if they have like a couple white girls with them like they'll let them in the club no problem sometimes they don't even have to pay and they'll make you stand there and it's just weird you know and I I lived in on the east coast in DC for a few months and had a blast out there because the nightlife was so different and I feel like beautiful confident you know, happy women who go out to have a good time can have a good time there. Whereas over here, it's everything is like a gimmick and it's not a whole lot of fun. So that's pretty much what I've been doing lately. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, leave me comments. What's the nightlife like where you guys live? Um, let me know. Um, I got to finish this project sometime soon. So I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye.